I'm Chaz Hogan, Australian journalist here at Bala Town, where supporters of the local club are beginning to gather to celebrate a second league title after the new Saints were beaten 2-0 at home by Cardiff Met Uni. The Lakesiders now have an unassailable a four-point lead at the top of the table and will be able to enjoy their final two league fixtures of the season. I'm Chaz Hogan, back to you in the studio. Right, I've done two seasons of this crap now. Can I go cover Manchester City, please? Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode 21 of The Impossible Dream as we look to win the Champions League with Welsh team Bala Town. And unexpectedly, we are celebrating our second uh, consecutive back-to-back -back Welsh Premier League titles because the New Saints only went and lost at home to Cardiff Met Uni. So we've done it. We've won it. Uh, everybody's happy here. I've entered the Welsh Hall of Fame. Well done to me. Um... I'm a true... Am I actually a Bala legend? One second here. Let's have a look at this. Does this mean it's time for a new stadium that can be called the Aussie Villain Arena? Uh, not quite. No, I'm only favoured personnel along with Luke Buss and Brew. Um, but we'll get there. We'll, we're coming for you, Colin Canton, who I believe has been Bala Town Manager for a very, very long time. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with that. The board's happy with that. As I said, we've gone back to back. Uh, we've got... You can see all the uh, Premier League uh, medal winners there. Uh, which is all good. Now, one other thing to catch you up on since last episode, we've actually got a new signing ready to go now for next season as well, and that is Daniel Evans, who we've signed for £450, £100 a week from Barrytown, did we get him from? Um, from, uh, what's it say here? Anyway, let's have a look at him. He is a really, really potentially fantastic uh, young Welsh centre-back. He's not the quickest, which is a problem, and he doesn't accelerate really either. But everything else about him is absolutely su uh, superb. Uh, you know, he's a beast in the air. Uh, he's got good aggression, good bravery. Decisions making is good. Leadership and is good as well, which makes me think potentially we could have, uh, a, you know, a future captain on our hands here as well. Heading is not great, but tackling and marking is good. Um, yeah, I think we've got a really, really good young player. The likes of Spittle and Kelly and probably Ray are going to be leaving us at the end of the season. So we've got to, you know, starting to build again for the future now. And we've got a really good young centre back there, I think. Let me know what you think, though, but I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So the league table. There it is. 78 points, does it? The New Saints only have one game to go. Uh, they had sort of the early kickoff, so that's why they can't catch us now. We're four points up with, with the gap there. If we have a quick look at the game itself. Um, it looks like they got well and truly FM. They missed a late penalty, but it wouldn't have made a difference. They're already 2-0 down at that point. But two shots on target, two goals for Cardiff Met Uni. And we can relax because we uh, were champions ahead of these, this final couple of games coming up here. Let's go and have a look at what we're expecting here against. Uh, we're playing Bengal City first up, and then we have Cardiff Met Uni themselves uh, on the final day of the season. I did consider just coming, not bother coming back, but I thought, no, we'll come back. We're saying goodbye to a few players. And I want to try some few things as well. Uh, so Ian Culverhouse is the Bengal City manager. They're a balanced standard playing style. We are expecting them to play like this. They do like to attack down the wings, as we can see. They're pretty much exclusively down both wings. Passing network and key passes there. Now, this is the team we're sending out. There was a comment um, from the trucking football manager about being surprised I don't try two strikers up top more often. And it's true. We probably should we probably should try it a little bit more often. So we're going to go into a game with good old-fashioned 4-4-2 here. Uh, give some younger fringe players a game as well. And just see how it goes. See how we look. So we're going to go with Gray in goal. Galvin who we have on loan, of course, from Wigan. I think we got him on loan from, yeah. So I want to have a look at him, see if it's someone we want to look at pursuing for next season. Um, we're going to go with Denham, a young, of course, uh, very easily fatigued centre-back with Williams and Nichols as a back four. Neto is a left winger, because I just want to try somebody a bit more natural in the role here. We're going to give Owen Taylor, one of our young utility players, very highly, you can see very, very high potential. They're potentially a five-star player. So we want to give him a game here since there's nothing really riding on it. Muddy Moo and Bray, again, I want a sort of a natural right-sided winger there just to see how this formation works. Serafino is a deep-lying forward. All markers are pressing forward. Let's see how we do. So everybody is lining up as expected, which is good to see. Uh, pick up where they left off. Uh, we haven't missed anything since last episode. We've come straight back. Uh, what do we want to say here? Come on, lads, let's keep this run going. I always, well not always, but I tend to have a problem motivating the team once sort of the title's done. So hopefully we won't see any sort of drop off from that. But I'm more, and I want you guys feedback on this as well, what you think of this 4-4-2. We could potentially look to go three centre backs with wing backs. Um, we didn't really have the players available to play that. We could have played Molly Nude as a left wing back. We didn't really have an option of it as a right wing back. 
Um, so I'm just kind of trying to play a, a formation right now with two strikers that fits our players best. Allmark! Oh, what a start! 16th goal of the season for Damien Allmark. And a perfect start. 11 minutes in, we're 1-0 up. This two strikers thing up top just might work, you know. We'll demand a little bit more, but there we go. Now, of course... This means next episode, obviously, we end the season with the cup final against the New Saints. And that, of course, means end of season awards, which means, of course, player of the season. Who do you guys think is our player of the season this year? Omar's got to be in with a shout. I think Buston Brew has scored more goals, but he's scored more goals from more games. I think Henry Jones has been an absolute star for us. Um, oh, what a save that is. And I think... Uh, Ryan Williams at the back, and I'll tell you what, Nichols has been good as well. But I think Ryan Nichols, uh, Ryan Nichols, Ryan Woy Reece Williams, sorry, at the back has been a star for us as well. So I think for me, it's probably between those four. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. We've had, I mean, the, the, the what's pretty much been our starting eleven. Goss, he's been good again as well, hasn't he? He scored some cracking goals. I think Neto's hit highs, but I don't think he's been consistent enough. And you can maybe make that same argument for for Boston Brew, to be fair. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think, let me know what you think, I'm trying to think who else has played regularly for us, here we go with Neto, back there for Taylor, I'm not quite sure what that was mate, that is a horrid pass, Kelly's been okay at left back, I tell you what, that's how Galvin's going to defend, I don't think we want him back next season, I tell you what a block that is, number 14, Reese Williams, a little bit of a, <laughs> that's why he's been one of our best players this year, really really good block, he saved the goal with that one, I'm almost sure, we are just starting to fall behind a little bit here. Now, another thing, too, maybe to bear in mind with this formation is that typically I don't think we would play a 4-4-2 against a team lining up the way that Bengal City are here either. Um, let's go and assert if there's still room for improvement here. Serafino's looking nervous. Come on, mate. I mean, he's had an injury-plagued season. It's only what? He's only, only his third start of the year for Serafino, and he's arguably our best player. So he's had an absolute nightmare. Of course, he broke his leg in preseason, if you remember, uh, Chester City. Uh, we are still coming for them. We will just, that's sort of the secondary target of this save now, is we will win the Champions League and we will destroy Chester City. So, <laughs> remember that when uh, years from now we have billions of billions of pounds in the bank, I just randomly go and just buy all the Chester City's players. It's Serafino's Revenge. Uh, maybe that's what we should call the series, not the impossible dream. Serafino's Revenge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's not been a great year for him. Um, I think what we'll use the Cardiff Met Uni game for is just to say a few goodbyes. Obviously, Venables is going to be retiring. Molly New, his contract's up. He's going to be leaving as well. Um, we'll probably look to give Serafino some more game time up front just to, to build up his match sharpness. He's walked straight through us there. Um, I don't know if Spittle and Kelly are worthy of having a farewell appearance. I don't think they've they've played enough over across the two seasons to work to, to be to sort of have earned that honour. Uh, but definitely Venables has, and definitely I think uh, Molyneux has as well. They've both been quite good for us at times. Let's demand a little bit more here. I mean, we've looked we've looked defensively solid. I'd say that. I don't know if we've if it's necessarily worked going forward. Here we go with Taylor for Allmark. There it is for Neto. Neto has a shot. It's blocked. Back for Muddy Moo out there for Nichols, who's a long way forward considering we're winning a game 1-0 late on. Ball into the box. Headed away. Neto picks it up though. He goes out there for Galvin. What can he do? Galvin. Oh, it's not the best cross. Neto. And we just can't quite find a way through. And are we going to get hit on the break here? They've got three on two if they play it smart. Oh, what a tackle from Reese Williams. I really, really hope we can get him back, and Glennon as well, but particularly Reese Williams, who's been an absolute star for us in the center of our defense this season and last season as well when we got him in. I think we got him in in January last year, didn't we? Um, he will be absolutely key. I'd love to sign him permanently. His contract's not up, so it's unlikely we'll be able to do it for next season, but I'll have to have a look. See, I think we are favored personnel. Well, I am favored personnel, and I think we're a favored club now as well. So hopefully we've sort of laid the groundwork there now for him to come and, and join us permanently. What can he do here? That is Denham, I think, that's trying to get back. Can Denham get a block in? He does enough, though. He does enough. So that's going to be a goal kick. Come on, boys. Can we get a second goal here and wrap it up? It's been, considering Bengal City are a decent team, we've looked okay. Here we go with Allmark again. Can he square it? Will he go himself? He goes himself, and it's just past the post. Um, yeah, I mean, a new formation as well. 
so that's that's never easy. I don't think Taylor in midfield has particularly worked. Serafino's not had a great game either. It hasn't been a great game all round, if we're being honest with ourselves. But the 4-4-2 has got us three points, which is excellent. Um, we'll say we we'll just say well done, boys. Well done. So Bala Town triumph in the unpronounceable derby. Uh, over Olmark with the with the winning goal. He has been quite good, hasn't he? Really, really good stuff from him. Uh, and he's actually coming along quite nicely as well. Look at these attributes. Really, really starting to kick along now with the extra game time. He's 17, so still really, really young. Wanted by Barry Town, not going anywhere. The other thing I did want to look at, wasn't it, was Reese Williams. Um, and just see if we are favoured personnel yet. I think we are. I'm favoured personnel, yeah, and this is a favoured club. So we've got to be every chance of being able to sign him. His contract is up the end of next season. So hopefully we'll get him back on loan next season uh, and then get it, look to sign him at the end of that contract. But guys, wait right there. We have our final league game of the season. We'll call it Chris Venable's Day against Cardiff Met Uni. Okay, welcome back. It's Chris Venable's day, the final day of the season, but we do have a few records we can break here. We are sitting on 81 points, which is equal our record points haul right now, um, so we could look to break that. It's nowhere near the Premier League record, though, because that stands at 105, so maybe that's something we can look to break before the, uh, the series finishes. And we're also set for a record amount of wins. We have 26, which equals our record. Uh, now, again, Premier League record amount of wins is 33, so we're a little way short of that. I'm not sure we're going to be able to win 33 games in a 32-game season, to be honest, but that record may be beyond us. <laughs> there we go. We can break two club records with a win here today. Now, let's have a look at what we're up against here. Cardiff Met Uni, we are the favourites. We, of course, want to welcome our guests and thank them for beating uh, the New Saints in their last timeout, uh, which handed us the league title. This is how we're expecting them to play. Um, you can see they were a very, very compact unit against the New Saints, and it worked for them. Um, let's hope with nothing to play for now that everybody's a little bit more open in this one. We can end the season on a high. This is the team we're sending out. It is a tributes team, pretty much. We say goodbye to some players, uh, and we want to send them off with a win. Uh, Louis Gray goes in goal. As far as I know, he will be staying. Galvin, again, we want to have another look at him, see what... We want to do with him next year. Do we want to try and sign him? His contract is up. Uh, Denham, uh, Owen Taylor. We didn't work in midfield last time out. We're going to try him as a ball-playing centre-back and to see how he goes. Lewis, Kane Lewis at right-back. It's Jordan Jones, who will be around next year, as will Muddy Moo in midfield. Bray, let's have another look at him, see how he goes. It's, of course, Chris Venable's final appearance. Um, we will be looking to keep him on as a member of staff, but as a player, uh, it's his final game. As it is with Molly Yu, he hasn't announced his retirement yet. He's only 32. He probably should keep going, but I think we've moved past him. You can see his declining two-star potential, two-star current ability. We'll see how he goes here, but I think this might be his final appearance. And of course, Serafino, we want to try and get games into his legs. He's only 23, and he's potentially a very good player for us. So a fourth start this season for Serafino. Let's end on a high. Okay, guys, just uh, before we go out, just gather around, please. Uh, Gosse, can you grab the door for me, mate? Cheers, thank you. Now, as you are all aware, the man next to me here, uh, Chris Venables, has announced his retirement at the end of the year. This will be his last uh, his last game for Barla Town. Now, he's been a captain, uh, he's been my right-hand man, and he's been a friend to all of us. You know, you guys come to me with problems, I go to him, and he solves those problems for me. I couldn't have done it without him this year. He's been a legend of the club. Uh, hopefully, he will agree to uh, you know, sign on again next year and stay on with us in the staff. Uh, maybe help the next generation come through. So, Chris, thank you, mate. Is there anything you want to add? No? All right, let's go out there, boys. Let's get three points for this man here. Go on, boys. So there we go. Everybody is playing as expected. Some of the reason for these players playing as well is just trying to keep match fitness up in case we have an injury to make sure everybody is as match sharp as we can get them coming into the cup final next week. Uh, what do you want to say? Go out there, prove a point. Um, just go out there, play been on a good run lately let's just keep going with that some calm we have faith it's not really working <laughs> honest with ourselves come on boys come on let's do it for venables today is all about him he's fine he may play in the cup final i don't expect that he will we'll probably have him on the bench oh there's only five players on the bench so he probably won't even be on the bench this will probably be his last appearance in a bala uh, town well in professional football but in a bala town match day squad because uh, between we have James Waite, Henry Jones, who will sort of take up, up the attacking areas. Um, there might be a spot for him on the bench, but somehow I don't think so. Molyneux with a corner. Ball to the back post. It's headed away. Jordan Jones is going to retrieve it. What can he do? Good ball back in. It's there. It's Oh, Muddy Moo, and it falls for Bray. And he possibly should have done a lot better with that. New Saints losing 2-0 to Afenlido. 
Hang your heads in shame, boys. They're in good form coming into the cup final next week, aren't they? Maybe they're resting players as well. Taylor gets that ball back out for Molyneux. Lays it in for Bray. Back for Molyneux. Decent ball in. It's headed away. Oh, that's horrible by Denham. Hey. A truly, truly disgusting shot. All right, here we go again. Kane Lewis with the throw for Bray. Can he get across in? He can. Back pose. There's Molyneux. Oh, it's a decent save from the keeper. And now we're going to get hit on the break here. This is possibly what they're looking to do. Owen Taylor's there. Can he get a tackle in? Is there a center back in there? I wonder a little bit with Owen Taylor. I think we, first of all, I think we need to go professional to get the most out of him because he's, he's young, but he's not really developing. Uh, and also, I do wonder if there's a little bit of it's a situation of he's not really a center back and he's not really a midfielder. Um, you know, and maybe he's not. That's a horrible pass from Muddy Moose straight into the shins of the uh, of the New Saints. No, who are we playing? Of Cardiff Met Uni's uh, player there. We found, found ourselves on the break, and I think it was a save. It was a save. A really good save as well, actually. Let's give it a demand more here. Um, yeah, I just wonder if maybe Owen Taylor's going to be one of these players that doesn't really have a position, and and so sort of long-term maybe doesn't have a, have a future at the club. But I want to try, I want to try and get Steve, you know, see what we can get from him because I think he will be useful as a, as a substitute you know those sorts of players are always useful on the bench it's a horrible touch there Bray can he get a first ball of goal of course he can't because he has been rubbish since we signed him um yeah it's really disappointing actually it's a poor finish not the best half of football we've had chances though uh what do we want to say to this maybe and let's try and get up them a little bit see if we can get something more out of them second half Taylor's actually not been too bad playing a 6-9. Denham is only playing a 6-6 next to him. That's not the best. Um, I wonder, actually, having seen the way that they lined up against the New Saints, let's maybe look to do that. Actually, no, you know what we'll do? I didn't see how much possession we had. We will look to attack the flanks. Uh, no, possession is relatively even, so I don't necessarily think slowing down the tempo is going to help us. As I say that, we go into 60% possession. Venable's only playing a 6-3. I wonder if we look to move him back to a shadow striker where he's probably been most successful for us. Um, New Saints have got back to 2-2. Let's go attacking. What? Yeah, you know what I do want to make sure, actually, is penalty takers. Uh, if we were to get a penalty taker, I just want to make 100% sure Venables would be the man to take it. All right. Work to do. Defending a corner here. Can we get that away? Serafino's there. He does just that, but it's still with... the. The, the students with Met Uni. Go on, boys. Oh, there it is. Serafino pounces. What can he do? He just holds up play. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent counter-attack move there. Here we go with Galvin. He, can, he can't cross. Oh, that is horrible. It's going to be an assist. Louis Gray continues to be our Lord and Savior in goal. And can we go the other side there? No, we can't. I don't think... It's, let's try attacking the middle. Um... Come on, boys. Let's... 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 Let's concentrate here. It's not been the final day of the season we perhaps wanted. Uh, but Serafino's not had a good game. Let's bring Allmark on, see if he can get a late goal for us. Uh, we look very, very nervous, and I'm not quite sure why that should be. Um, obviously, yelling at them at half time hasn't worked. Let's try and encourage at the end here, see if we can get something from us. Here we go with Venables. Go on, mate. One last moment of magic. He's done well there, but eventually he loses out. Can we, can we win this ball back? Oh, it's a good ball over the top. We've Who's been caught out there? It's another good save from the goalkeeper. Denham has not covered himself in glory this game, has he? Um, I'd say he's been poor at best. There goes the encouraged shout. Let's see if hopefully that gets rid of some of the nerves. It'd be a real shame, wouldn't it, to go out on a loss. Of course, if we hang on to a draw, at least we get our record points total. That's something. Um, but a little bit of a shame. A stalemate to end. Chris Venable's day ends as it started, and it was that wasn't the best, wasn't the best. So there we go, spoils shared as Cardiff and Taylor renew acquaintances. That's where we got Owen Taylor from. Serafino vows to end his goal drought. Just come back next season, mate. Come back next season fit. But there we go. That is the end of the episode, and that is the end of the Welsh Premier League season. We still have the cup final to come, uh, and that's how we will f come back tomorrow. But... That's how it ends up for us. Very, I should have played Bustonbury. Could have got the golden boot. That was silly, wasn't it? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? I didn't look at that. Look at that, though. At the, the average ratings, we've absolutely smashed them. Um, 
Yeah, the massive oversight for me. Sorry, Mr. Boston Brew. I really should have played you in this in the last two games there. But anyway, that's it for today, though, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Just the one goal. Who doesn't love just the one goal in an episode of Football Manager videos? <laughs> yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, guys, for the cup final against the New Saints. Don't forget to let me know in the comments who you think our goal, uh, who you think our player of the season will be. We'll also have our end of season awards and our goal of the season. It proves to be, it promises to be a mammoth goal of the season. Um, competition tomorrow as well. That's all though for next time. Until then, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Let's beat the New Saints in the final. We can do a treble. Take care.